and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Knights in Best of One. We played this Grixis Knights deck a couple of weeks ago, maybe 10 days, two weeks ago or so, and it felt pretty strong, but our mana base isn't great and our sideboard wasn't really that good. And so best of one kind of helps fix th those problems. Sideboard, you don't have to really worry about it. So I just kind of got, got rid of our sideboard. Um, you know, if you want to play this in best of three and add a sideboard to it, feel free. But then also best of one, it kind of helps fix your mana a little bit with the hand fixing that best of one does. Like where, um, I guess if you don't know about this, this, this is what happens when you play best of one on arena. It basically it generates two hands, opening hands, and looks at which one has more uh, like a better land to spell ratio and gives you that one. Um, so it helps out uh, tough mana bases and everything like that. The reason why it does that is because you're just playing the one game and it doesn't want the one game decided um, by mulliganing a bunch. Um, and so it tries to help you out like that. Okay. Um, anyway, I also changed the deck up a little bit. So before, whenever we played this, um, you know, so like, as you can tell, like this is just basically red black knights being aggressive splashing for royal scions like that's what we got going on here because royal scions is just really powerful it has you know like that that first plus one ability means like if if we're not um if our it's like our uh plan b you know like if our plan a isn't like working we're not being able to get lots of damage in we can go filter our draws and, and look for whatever we need but then it's really about the second plus one giving these knights plus two plus zero first strike trample um, makes them, you know, makes them a lot more powerful and, and, uh, makes the damage that they do, um, a lot more prevalent. <clears throat> also before I played a lot more three drops last time I played murderous rider and midnight reaper. And I kind of found that like the three drops were just kind of clunky that they were just getting stuck in my hand and I wanted to be more aggressive. So instead of playing more of those three drops, I got rid of them and we're playing order of midnights. Now I, we didn't have any order of midnight in order of midnight is a pretty strong card. You know, it's a flyer that uh, can get in for chip damage and everything, and it also has the alter fate part to bring stuff back, especially Smitten Swordmaster. This is an important one of draining out the opponent there. Um, so being able to bring that back with Order of Midnight is really nice. I'm also going to try two Steel Claw Lance. Didn't have this before. Honestly, like maybe, maybe we should have Midnight Reaper or Murderous Rider instead of Steel Claw Lance, but I want to try it out uh, as... As something to help pump up these knights also and uh you know being just equipped knight one mana that's really cheap for moving it around so we'll give this a try we'll see how that card goes um all right well let's get after it here we go grixis knights so we're just going to be playing over and ranked for our best of one day monday stream today uh, how to upload your collection. I gotcha. I'm not sure how to do that. <clears throat> I have never done that before. I mean, so when it says drop an, an MTGO file, if you have Magic Online, you of course have to have Magic Online, but if you have Magic Online, you can, there's like a, a place in Magic Online to export your collection. And so that's, that's what it's referring to. So I basically don't want to like play the tournament grounds right away to let my opponent know that I was going to be a, a red black deck. You know, Hmm. All black cards, all red lands. It's fantastic.
Well, that's quite bad for me. Why can't I do two things? <laughs> uh, this is rough. Yeah, just the one black source. I have I have just two mountains in here. We got both of them in our hand. Yay. More black mana. Spell, spell. Ugh, they gotta land. Okay. Um So I, I grab something, I play it, and then I do Swordmaster. It's either that or I just play Order of Midnight, Swordmaster, and play Swordmaster. Puts them down to three. I'm going to do that. I know like that my opponent can stabilize from here. I, I do this is kind of forced me to top tech, but it also kind of forces my opponent to stop attacking basically and gives me some time. Alright, well they got a million cards over there, double steam kin. This could be very bad. If they have two one mana spells. I like that Robber the Rich animation. I don't, I don't remember seeing that too much, like, originally. Oh no, that's really bad. It's a one mana spell, and it's a great creature, haste creature. Alright, we have 
tons and tons of good draws that win us this game. That's a... Just leaving themselves dead? I guess, do they have Skewer the Critics? They, they have to just have something here. They just left themselves dead. I mean, even Skewer, I gained two life. They just left themselves dead. Well, I... I drew the card anyway. Oh, they make that attack. I... Oh well. We drew the card anyway, so even if they didn't make that attack. Yeah, I got I got this Smitten Swordmaster art in the store. It was a it was part of the bundle. Like if you go to the go to the store, the thing is, is like whenever you buy stuff, it goes away. But it was there was just bundles that just had some of those arts. That's why I, I got them. That's where I got them. Yeah, so it doesn't have all of the the adventure creatures, but it has some of them. <laughs> Red must attack. I can respect that. Play mono red, never, never block. Unfortunately, one point off of growing night there. That would have been nice. They did have Unsummon too. Uh, they just baited me there. I was not planning on using Unsummon. How they just did that with the Spectral Sailor. Gross. Uh, I should not have done that. I should not have done that. I can pick it up again, even though it got quenched. Yeah, I, I thought it was quench also, but it's not like... You know, like quench is going to counter something anyway, but we can pick that back up. Alright, 2-0. Does feel like whenever you're in mythic, it's it's a lot faster to rank up in best of one, because it seems like you get like the same the same amount of like in the in the other ranks, you know, you get two two wins for a best of three and one win for a best of one, but it feels like in 
in uh, like as far as like the percentages go in mythic it's just faster to rank up in best of one it's like the same either way you know like if if you're 98 percent and you win in best of three you go to 99 percent if you're 98 percent in best of one you go to 99 percent so it's just a lot faster the same you know we played two matches there in 15 minutes I will enlighten you. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Mm, you're a tricksy one. Yep, next game. Turn two Voco on the play. Like what are you, what are you supposed to do about that? Probably need more than three mana. Probably need a removal spell. Or probably need more than two mana, sorry. Ah, uh, didn't get the land. All right. Two and one. Yeah, at least whenever you learn to two, turn two, whenever you lose to turn two Oko, you don't have to worry about immediately looking at turn two Oko again. Like it's it's possible that you do, but it's not. You know something that for sure you're gonna see. Oh yeah, Corpse Knight, Worthy Knight. Yeah, those two do a lot of work together. For sure. And then yeah, get some Smitten Swordmaster in there. I wanna get this thing out of my hand. No, I'm gonna play the Falmire Knight. Death touch, first strike. It's pretty nice. Yay. Four matches in 20 minutes. <laughs> you just played two games with this deck. It's really fun. Nice, Asprin. Yeah, this deck is pretty sweet. It's a good one. We're right, right back to where we were. Okay. So we got Fervent Champion into Paragon. Into uh, Rimrock Knight, into Cleave. I, d I don't think we can go Ember Cleave on turn three. We'd have to have, you know, triple one drop start to be able to have Ember Cleave on turn three. Weaselback, Red Cap. 
I guess I attack. Could sit back, but they did shock. Luxodon's not too slow for knights. Yeah, Luxodon's awesome. Yeah. I I've I had like a similar deck there with Boros with a bunch of good cheap knights and Lux Luxodon. Haven't haven't really tried it out in Mardu. Strike Death Touch. What? What? What is that thing? Hmm. Can't block. <clears throat> hmm. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Dinosaur. That's overkill. So. Cowards. Let it go, Rowan. I didn't do any math if I'm dead or not. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This thing activates 13, 14. Cool. Not dead? Yeah, the Royal Scions really helped <laughs> gain some, gain 12 life. They really should, really did not need to attack with all that stuff. So that should be game. Well, that's definitely game if I just do if I just do the sword master. I mean, because this is gonna be five like this is five power, and then just rim rocking it makes it seven power. So seven power, double strike trample, wins the game. It doesn't have death touch, but it has double strike trample. This also just works too, though. Cause like that's fourteen trample damage. They have ten toughness. But I was too smitten with playing the swordmaster, so we did that. Okay, GG.
What's up, Will? Doing good, doing good. Yeah, it didn't it didn't need death touch. It still had double strike trample because of the ember cleave. It was lethal because of the double strike trample, but it didn't need death touch at all. Hey, what's up, Mr. Bull Bull Dops? <laughs> I almost said drops. Bull Dops, what's up? Thank you so much for the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Okay, I guess we're gonna keep this. Oh, this is better than I thought. I I didn't realize I had a fervent champion. I had a one drop. I thought I didn't have a one drop. I missed that whenever I wasn't looking there. Right. Uh, yeah, we we got. Yeah, I didn't get to play Esper Control on Sunday, Will, because we had four donation decks on Sunday. So I didn't get to play it yesterday. I do have two different Esper Control donation decks for tomorrow. So we're doing like Esper Control and Esper Dance. Playing both of those tomorrow. I think it's Esper Dance. It's a it's a Doom Foretold deck. Is it Dance? No Dance. But so Esper Doom. Person labeled has a label as Esper Prison. So Esper Prison and Esper Control. Um you do some attacking. Good job. Yeah, Stormfist Cru Crusader is pretty good. Nothing wrong with it. Hmm. It's worse when you can't hit land drops, though. That's for sure. Gotta be able to play your spells. Really need land drop there. Whoa. Can't draw any lands. <laughs> yeah, we've drawn um, six cards, kept a two-lander, drawn six cards, and hit zero lands. So that's not great. There we go. All right, so they have millions of mana because of Nyssa, and now because of Stormfist Crusaders, they have millions of cards. So I kind of assume we're dead. But we'll see. Yeah, it was a good turn for us, but... Would have been better if we hit our third or fourth land drop. Bone Crusher Giant. Um, I don't know. I guess just just whatever you got there, T Train. Um, you know, other stuff. 
basically other things that are in the sideboard are usually good ideas. You know, if you want something like drill bit, if you want something that's another threat, that's also kind of removal, you could just play, could play three mana Chandra if you have those, because she can minus and recast removal spells also. You probably want something that costs two. You probably want something that costs one or two mana, honestly. So maybe something like drill bit. Why would Questing Beast not attack? I'm not sure. But I'm glad it didn't. I can't play that. No! Oh, okay, good. Sorry, sorry. Oh, gosh. that I panicked there because I thought they were just going to automatically do that, but I, I don't have the mana to do that, so it's, it's all good. <sighs> okay, so I wanted to get the four creatures out before Swordmaster because these two are going to trade, of course. Sorry. Oh, my gosh. I Oh, man. Uh. <laughs> yeah, scared y'all? I'm sorry. Uh, scared me, too. Uh, I just thought everything was going to mess up there. <laughs> You're dropping an F in chat for all the headphone users. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I got scared. Your cat jumped. <laughs> Nearly gave you a heart attack. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to do that. That just kind of happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> Woke you up. Oh, the pupper sad. Oh. Love a haste creature. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome. All right, so that's... I guess I don't get to do too much with that. It just makes Ember Cleave cost the same amount that it would have. So I, I assume... I assume we're going to be able to win this somehow with Ember Cleave. Oh, maybe not. I guess they get to gain three life with that thing, don't they? Uh, so they actually go to six. Okay, I, I kind of assumed they were going to double block Stormfist Crusader and then go block block with the other two. But now they're just single blocking. So 
So I should just be able to put it on this thing. Now, cleaving the, the Knight of the Ebon Legion is definitely the card to Ember Cleave here. Because the Stormfist Crusader is going to do 2 damage. If you put Ember Cleave on it, it does 6 damage. Or you could just do 2 damage with Ember Cleave, and then you put it on the Knight of the Ebon Legion that only has 1 toughness blocking it, and then it then Knight does 7. So like you would do 9 total damage by putting it on Knight. You would do 6 total damage by putting it on Crusader. It turns out that six kills them, but it's it's nine damage. You know, it's an extra three points of damage by putting it over on night. No, I didn't have the mana to do the. I I didn't have the mana to pump night. Also. Oh, you wanted me to do Fervent Champion buff on the Menace creature to do the double block? I, I didn't want them to do the double block. Alright, I'm in there. Because they do the double block, but the only creature that's unblocked is the 1-1. One, one. Ugh, Nightmare. Yeah, blue. Yep, the blue splashes for Royal Scions. Yeah, Oko's worth crafting. It's the best card in standard by a very wide margin. Are they going to pump this thing up? Like, why would they not just play the Corpse Knight first? Get the trigger. Yeah, they're bluffing a spell. If I don't block their Knight of the Ebon Legions get pumped. And yeah, Stormfist Crusader may not be that great for me here. Um I'm obviously not getting the blue. Um I think I just want more black. I think we got enough red. Steady your mind, Rowan. And I will inspire your heart. Bravery galvanizes any plan. I'm not gonna bounce I'm not gonna block. So might as well do that. <laughs> Thanks, Flave Loco. Uh, no, I've I've not considered wearing two neckties. Why well, Grixis over Mardu? Because you get the Royal Scions. And that card's amazing. I 
kind of hurts. That hurts a lot more. That really hurts. I think I'm losing this one. I'd be very surprised if I win this one. Land. Okay, does that do it? That's that's what I needed, right? I need them to tap out. Right? Because that's 2, 4, 7, 10. I'm not messing this up, right? 3, 6, 8, 10. That was exactly what I needed. I need them to not to tap out and not play a blocker. And me top deck a land. Yeah! Grixis Knights! They gave me a window to win that with. Um, with tapping out like that. All right, let's play one more. <laughs> Got a good old 10 9 1 drop. Yeah, usually I do seven games for the best of one, but these have just been so fast with these decks that I'm doing eight. This hand doesn't look great. I should never do that one extra one. It's always that one extra one that gets me. <laughs> you love watching this deck? Yeah, this is a good one. Uh, this My opponent has just an awesome hand here, though, of course, but oh well. Um... I assume they're going Questing Beast. I maybe shouldn't have played the Knight of the Ebon Legion on turn one. Maybe I should have just gone and got Mountain. Turn one. That was my plan until we t until we drew that for our first turn. It's just kind of enticing. Rude. 
Sight. My plan is crystallizing. Need more red mana. I don't know why Grazer is attacking. I'm going to block it, though. Is it Embercleave? It is Embercleave. We get to gain two life by blocking that. Not sure if I just play Royal Scions there and tick up on the Fervent Champion, or I'm even the, the Smitten Swordmaster. One of the two. As the Swordmaster would gain me life. Feel the heat of my come to me. Obviously, the, the Sarkin is just going to kill me with its triggered ability, or the, the passive ability. Just kills me. Probably should just attack with the Fervent Champion also to, to pump this thing up to be 4 power. Kind of regret not doing that. Yeah, I regret not doing that. Yeah, I should have sent in the Champion. All mythics. Might demands power. All right, so I guess if you have turn one and two goose and grazer, and then just have just all of the best mythics in standard, you get me. Yeah, Sarkin's a rare. Wicked Wolf's a rare. They're basically mythics, though. All right, so six and two. Ooh, we got a pack. Let's crack it open. Speaking of mythics, hopefully we open a mythic. Wow, I opened a mythic. That's pretty good. Um, what card did I just open? Oh. I bet I got Harmonious Archon. I got all four cauldrons, so it's not that. No, magic mirror? Hmm. Ah, it was the mythic wild card. Could have been an ember cleave. Could have been an ember cleave. All right. Well, fun deck to play here with Grixis Knights. Fun deck to play. Yeah, that, that last turn that we just played, I, I forgot that I could equip the Fervent Champion for zero. I should have done that, but oh well. Uh, we never drew Steel Claw Lance ever. 
So never drew that card. Honestly, maybe I had... Maybe I had an out there, honestly. I should not I should not have conceded. I, I was just kind of like frustrated there. I should not have conceded that. Because I guess if I would have drawn... If I would have drawn Steel Claw Lance, would I have killed my opponent? I would have had... I think I only had five mana. So I think I would have had to draw a sixth mana also. Yes. But we were going to draw two cards off a of Crusader. So if I drew land and Steel Claw Lance. Or... Wait, I had Royal Scions, right? I don't know. One of the two. So we could add three mana to equip Crusader and then also pump it up for two more. It would have been five double strike trample. They had eight or they had seven toughness. No, we weren't killing them. So no, actually, no, we weren't killing them. My my main mistake was not attacking with the Fervent Champion also with the Smitten Swordmaster to make it a four one. That was a that was a mistake. I should have just attacked there. <clears throat> All right. Still a really fun deck. Had a lot of good games and everything. Um, yeah, Grixis Knights. This is, a, this is a sweet best of one deck. I don't think that the sideboard is, is too great for this deck, which why which is why um, I think it's kind of good in best of one here. Uh, both times that we lost, our opponent had turn one. Like our two games that we lost, our opponent had turn one of Boreal Grazer. They were on the play with turn one of Boreal Grazer and then just, you know, dropping like Oko and Wicked Wolves and stuff like that super early those are the two games we lost that happens <laughs> on the play a grazer into either turn two oko or turn three wolf and then you know beast all that kind of stuff but um yeah that's about it to say about the deck it was a lot of fun to play a lot of cool stuff to do royal scions is, is fun um our man wasn't too bad it it really hurt us a couple of times but it wasn't too too bad but yeah if you want a really fast deck to play you know this was eight eight games in 52 minutes here uh this is a this is a good one here um also if you're watching on youtube please hit the like button over there also leave some comments i like always seeing both of those but thank you so much for watching some grixis nights and i'll see you for the next video